Hello, welcome to Circle Time. So our friends are here. Look, are you ready to get started with our day? We're going to talk about you and you is for umbrella. Do you have an umbrella? You do? Well, maybe you want to grab it for our lesson today. Before we get started talking about umbrellas, though, we've got to do our job. What is our class job? We've got to feed Fred. So let's feed Fred right now. Sue, you can sit down. Fred doesn't need an umbrella. Fred lives in the water. Fred looks so excited to see us, doesn't he? Here you go, Fred. <laughs> you can probably see something on Fred's shelf. When we did Jack and the Beanstalk, J for Jack and the Beanstalk, we planted some beans in a bag. You can go back and watch that video if you want to. These are the beans. Look how much they're growing. Whoa, they're ready to be taken out of the bag and planted in the ground or in a small pot and then planted outside when it's a little bit warmer. Isn't that amazing? We just grew a bean in a bag. That was a cool experiment for science that day. Well, it's time for us to turn around and see what day it is today. The month is March. And let's reach into our can and see how we will count today. It says we're going to march. So I guess we'll march today. Would you like to stand up and march with me? Okay, let's stand up. Let's do some marching and we'll figure out what day it is today. Okay, here we go. You ready? March, march, march. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we can stop right there because today is March fifteenth. March fifteenth. That is today's date. And if you want to know the day, you're going to have to go up, up, up to the top. Today's day starts with W. W says wah, 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 as in wake up. So what day starts with the sound wah, wah, wah? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Days of the week. to check the weather so look outside and see what your weather is like today and i will get my umbrella you is for umbrella today what's your weather like today do you need an umbrella is it raining or maybe it's sunny or cloudy when i do like this shout out whatever your weather is What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is. It is 
out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, we're gonna put on a t-shirt for you and some pants. And we'll put on a raincoat since we're talking about rain and umbrellas and a rain hat and some rain boots. Now, what season is it? The season is winter. The season is still winter. But let's see how many more days until spring begins. One, two, three, Four. Only four more days and then spring will begin. Well, that was our calendar time and now it's time for the letter of the day. Today's letter is the letter U. Can you say U? U. If your name has letter U, stand up. If your name has letter U, stand up. If your name has letter U, if your name has letter U, if your name has letter U, stand up. Well, today U is for umbrella and I decorated my letter U to look like an umbrella. Actually, first I turned it upside down. U is for upside down. So there is letter U, and I turned it upside down, and I just colored it and added a handle, so now it looks like an umbrella. Well, you can decorate your U today if you'd like, and you can also practice writing letter U, and I'm going to show you now how to do that. So you start at the top, you go down, curve around and then right back up to the top. That's how you make a big letter U. To me, it looks like a happy smile, a big, big smile. Do you wanna to try to make a letter U? You can use your own paper or board. You can sky write if you don't have any paper or you can use handwriting paper. And parents, you can get this handwriting house sheet at my website, the link is below. So we're going to start at the top ceiling, go down and touch the green carpet, and then right back up to the top. Down, curve around and up. Big U goes upstairs and downstairs on the handwriting house. Down, curve around and up. Well, I want to show you the little letter U. Little letter U looks almost like big U, but you can see there's a line that comes straight down right here. So let's try to make a little U. We're going to start at the top, go down and curve around, back up, and then straight back down like that. Down, curve around, up, and down. Let's practice making a little U. And if you're using handwriting paper, you need to find the stairs because the little letters belong downstairs. Down and curve around and up and down. Do you want to try to make a little U? Down and curve around and up and down. Down, curve around, up and down. That's how you write little U. Okay, I would love to check and cheer for you. You wanna show me your letter U? And remember, you can always sky write. Good job, yay, very nice. You can get a sticker today for handwriting time. This is for you. Well, now we know what letter U looks like. We know how to write letter U. So it's time to talk about the sound that U makes. Letter U is one of those special letters that we call the vowels. Will you help me sing the vowel song? A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, 
I owe you. These are the vowels. Well, every time we talk about a vowel, we get a visit from one of the vowel people. Here he is. This is my friend you. My friend you has been eating too many sweet treats. He ate ice cream. He ate strawberry cake. And he ate cupcakes too. And now he has a tummy ache. My friend you says, oh, oh. Oh, see, he has a tummy ache. Can you do that? Can you put your hand on your tummy and say, oh, oh, oh. That's the sound that letter U makes. And if you look carefully, you can see a letter U in the picture. It's his tummy. His tummy looks like letter U. And he has a tummy ache. He says, oh, oh, oh. Well, parents, you can get a copy of this and all the vowel people over on my website for free. Just look under shop and free and you can get these to practice letter U. Well, it is time for us to go over to the science table. We're going to be testing out some different umbrellas and seeing which one works the best. So let's head over to the science table. So here we are at the science table and we're going to test out some different umbrella materials and we're going to see which ones work the best. I have my spray bottle, that will be the rain. So first I'm just going to take this, let's start with this tissue paper here. So we're gonna put this tissue paper onto a stick. I'm just using a popsicle stick. And I'm just gonna tape it and see if I can make it look like an umbrella. Okay, so there's my tissue paper umbrella and I have a little Lego person that I'll put under the umbrella. We're gonna see if this works, if it keeps the little Lego person dry. All right, here comes the rain. Uh-oh. The tissue paper umbrella did not work. Our Lego person is all wet. Oh no, let me dry him off and we'll try a different umbrella. Okay, next we're going to use, what about this cupcake, cupcake liner? Let's give that a try. I'm just going to tape my cupcake liner onto a stick. Okay, and we'll give the cupcake liner a try. Let's put our Lego person back. And let's bring on the rain. Look, the rain is rolling right off the cupcake liner. And our Lego person is all dry. Okay, so the cupcake liner worked. Next, we're going to try this coffee filter. So let's take the coffee filter to a stick. Let's test it out. It's certainly big enough. Let's put our Lego figure back and let's bring on the rain. Uh oh, the coffee filter did not work. Our Lego person is all wet. Let me dry him off. And let's try one more umbrella. I have this little paper cup, so we'll give this one a try. Okay, and here is my Lego person. He's all dry. So let's bring on the rain. Look at that, the water is running right off the cup and my Lego person is all dry. So that was super fun. We had to think of some materials that we could use to make umbrellas. The two that worked were the coffee 
uh, not the coffee filter, but the cupcake liner, excuse me, the cupcake liner and also the cup. Those were the two umbrellas that were most effective. All right, let's come back around to the classroom and do something cool for art. For art today, we're going to make a paper umbrella. So you're just going to need a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what kind of paper or what color. And if you want to, you can even decorate the paper. I just made lots of polka dots on mine. This is going to be your umbrella. So decorate your umbrella however you'd like it to look. And then we're going to start folding it. So we're going to do an accordion fold. So let me show you what that's like. I'm going to go this way. Let me show you on the other side. I folded it this way. And then I'm going to fold it back the other way. Go back. And four. And keep going just like that. It'll be a little easier for you if you do it on the table. I'm just doing it up so I can show you. Back. And four. Back and forth, back and forth until you get all the way to the end. Maybe you've made those paper fans. It's kind of like when you make one of those, but I'm going to pinch it in the middle. So there it is. I just folded it back and forth, and then I'm going to pinch it right in the middle, and I'm going to fold it. I want to try to fold it so that the two ends are the same size like they're 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 at the same place together like the same length okay so now I folded it in the middle and then I'm going to just let it go and you can see there's a hole right here so I'm going to put some glue right here and I'm going to close up that hole so this can look like an umbrella so right in there I'm putting some glue There we go. So we're going to bring those two ends together and we're going to just let that dry for just a second. And if you're worried that you might need more time for it to dry, you could also just quickly put some tape on the end. I think I'll do that so I can just continue and show you and, and don't have to wait. So there's my umbrella. So the next thing that you can do is you can take a piece of paper and you can glue your umbrella here and you're gonna need some kind of handle. You can use a popsicle stick. You could use a straw, especially those bendy straws would be really cool. Or you could use, or you could just use a marker and draw a handle. So there you have it. We made a little paper umbrella. You can get this all glued down and give it some time to dry and then you can hang it up. Well, it's time for us to read a story. Now, when do we need umbrellas? We need umbrellas when it rains. So the name of our story today is Raindrops Fall All Around. In the country and the town, rain is falling all around. Raindrops drip on leaves and flowers. Cars splash through the April showers. Raindrops keep a steady beat. Rain forms puddles in the street. Rain turns hillsides fresh and green. Raindrops wash the sidewalks clean. A flowing creek fills up with rain. Rain seeps down into the drain. Rushing water makes a path. Bluebirds take a little bath. Ducklings swim around the lake. Raindrops make the puppies shake. Lightning flashes in the sky. 
thunder rumbles way up high. Time to say good night to rain. Raindrops tap dance on the pane. Rain clouds slowly pass on by. A rainbow spreads across the sky. Raindrops trickle to the ground. Raindrops fall all around. The end. <laughs> well, I hope you had some fun today with letter U. Tomorrow it's V for Venus flytrap. So I'll see you then, everybody. Have a great day. Goodbye.